Welcome to Pixel Training's free video series. My name is Armando Martinez. Today we're going to learn how to add a vignette to your photograph in Photoshop. We're going to take a photo that looks like this and make it look like this. Using a vignette is a great trick to enhance your photograph. It can be a tight transition like a pinhole camera or just be very subtle just to lead the eye into the center of the photograph. In either case it can be a very dramatic effect. Let's take a look here in Photoshop and learn how to create a vignette. Now the first thing we need to do is create a selection in the shape of the vignette we want. And we're going to do that by using the elliptical marquee tool which is found towards the top of the tool panel. And if you don't see the elliptical, right now my rectangular marquee tool is visible, we need to access it in the expanded toolbox. And we access that by clicking and holding on the tool and select the round elliptical marquee tool. On a little side note, you can also use the lasso tool if you'd like to create an irregular shape or some kind of organic shape for your photo here. So it doesn't have to be the elliptical tool. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a selection over my photograph, just like this. And if you don't like the exact shape of your selection or the size, you can always go to the Select menu and select Transform Selection. This will bring up some handles here and you can readjust the shape and size of your selection to exactly where you want it. Once you have the shape where you like it, hit the return or enter key. Now we have our selection complete, however, we have the inside selected. What we need to do is go to select inverse so that we now have the outside selected because that's going to be where our vignette is actually going to happen. So now we're going to go to the adjustments panel and if you don't see the adjustment panel open right now, you can always go to the window menu and select adjustments to bring that forward. I'm going to create a new levels adjustment. And if you're a curves user, you can always use curves as well, or even the brightness contrast adjustment. So now I'm going to come down to the black point slider, which is this black triangle on the left, and move that in. And as I slide that to the right, you can see I'm starting to darken my photo. Just adjust that to where you like. And now that I've got the darkened area for my vignette, we just need to work on the mask. So we're going to click on the mask panel. And if you don't have that open right now, you can also find that in the window menu under masks. Now in the mask panel, we're going to go down to the second slider to the feather slider. And I'm going to drag this to the right until I get the look of the vignette I want. If you want a tighter vignette, you go lower in the numbers and a higher vignette goes higher. Now one thing to note is that this feather slider is resolution dependent. If you're working on a very high res photo, you're going to have to go much higher in the feather amount. For this photo here, this is kind of a medium to low res photo, so I don't have to go too high. So just adjust this to where you like. And that's our vignette effect added to our photograph. Now as a little bonus, you could create a secondary vignette on top of this. I'm going to do that with the lasso tool this time to kind of create a more organic shape. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw kind of a shape here. It's kind of more closer to the edge of the photo. And again, if this shape is not perfect, I can readjust that with the transform selection. And maybe I want to move this just a little to the outside because this is going to be a much darker effect and it's going to be a harder transition. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the return or enter key. I'm then going to go to the select menu and invert my selection. Go back to my adjustments. Create a new levels adjustment and bring my black point slider. And there you can see my darker first vignette closer to the edge of the photo. Now I'm going to go to my mask panel again, take my feather slider, and for this one here I'm going to do a little bit tighter transition. Maybe about there. And I can always go back to my levels and readjust this black point slider. Get it to just where I want. Select the first one as well, and maybe I want to adjust that one too. And there's our vignette effect added to our photograph. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Armando Martinez. See more videos at pixeltraining.net.